we have from Oxford Seth School of Business, Moongis. Hi, everyone. Today we're presenting My Story, an app to unleash kids' imagination through interactive storytelling and adaptive learning. Sorry. I'm Christina. This is Akshay, Emma, Jordan, and Juno. We are a diverse team from five different countries and five different industries joined together by our passion for this product. I am particularly passionate about this product because of my little sister, Isabella. Isabella is 10 years younger than me, so I've always taken care of her from like changing her diapers when she was a baby to helping her with her math homework in elementary school. And watching her grow up in the digital age, I saw firsthand how much time she spent on her iPad and on her phone using apps like YouTube and TikTok, and I got worried. So being the overprotective sister that I am, I decided to check her average screen time, and it was around six hours a day. And uh, this was pretty shocking to me. That's around 40% of the time she spends awake. So I knew this was a problem, and I wasn't sure what to do about it. To further illustrate this issue, we prepared a short video for you. Meet Christina and her little sister, Isabella. Isabella is growing up in an era of rapidly changing technology, which creates new challenges that Christina did not have to face as a child. As the popularity of YouTube, iPads, and social media continues to soar, Isabella has started to spend more time in front of a screen and less time playing with her toys. Her days of creating adventures for her dolls are gone and have been replaced by watching someone else's adventures through various screens. However, as technology continues to evolve, education systems are failing to progress. The teachers at Isabella's school use a one-size-fits-all approach that works for some students but not all. Isabella feels like she is falling behind. She should leave her lessons feeling empowered, but instead she is left frustrated. As Christina sees the challenges Isabella faces, she wonders how she can help her sister and all children growing up in this digital age. So, inspired by my personal experience with my little sister, my team and I decided to tackle the problem of creativity development in the digital age for all children out there. By doing a lot of research, we discovered that this problem stems from three key elements affecting today's youth. First, diminished creative play. Second, a rigid education paradigm. And third, a rise in passive screen time. And we plan to address all of these three problems with creative play through storytelling, individualized learning, and replacing passive screen time with active screen time. So we are so excited to introduce to you My Story. My Story is an AI-driven app that allows children to create their own unique stories. At My Story, we promote creativity, we foster individuality, and we allow children to practice key essential skills for success. With our app, children are able to become the heroes of their own story. So now I'm gonna walk you through how our app works. So we are gonna show you how Isabella would utilize our app. So when she opens it up, she'll be asked these four key questions, starting with, which skill do you wanna to practice today? So in this example, Isabella is going to work on her math skills. Next, we'll ask her, who is the main character of your story? So Isabella has the option to choose from one of our examples if she needs help getting started, or she can utilize her own input, really allowing her imagination to soar. We'll also ask Isabella what is the setting of her story and what is the theme. So in this example, Isabella chooses to create a story about a unicorn who goes to Paris and learns about friendship. So this is where the AI comes in. So we will use generative AI to create beautiful images and copy to create a story that's really unique and built just for Isabella. After Isabella has been using the app for about five minutes, she'll be prompted with a math question. And the math question will be seamlessly integrated into the story so that this experience is not too disruptive for the user. And we will also leverage technology to make sure that the math question is an appropriate level for Isabella. At My Story, we really tried to make our app engaging and interactive for the user. So in order to do this, we developed two key features. The first one is the rewrite tool. So Isabella has the power to change the narrative of the story at any time. So on one page, her unicorn can be in Paris, and on the very next page, the unicorn can be in outer space. So it's very engaging. And we also have a nudge feature. So we will monitor how active Isabella is in the app if we feel that her engagement is starting to dip down we will nudge her and ask isabella what do you want to happen next in your story
Uh, remember, kids are at the center of our product design, so we have put uh, mandatory safety blocks in our app by default. Parents can also choose to add additional uh, safety blocks for more content control. Another feature that is pretty cool is that kids can save, download, and share their stories with their family and friends. Now, let me introduce to you two core personas that my story can benefit from, Grace and James. Grace is a six-year-old uh, who is super curious, high energy, but has a very short attention span. Uh, it always gets bored. Uh, with my story, Grace can always change, develop, twist the story plot at any time uh, when, when she wants and always keeping her engaged. Now let's look at James. James is a 10-year-old boy. He is reserved. He struggles with expressing himself and his feelings. He has some language delay and disorder. With my story, James can work on his language development in a personal and safe environment. Our product concept is uh, further validated by some of our research on kids and also survey with uh, parents. Study shows that children who are involved in creative play, they, are, they have a significant increase in divergent thinking than the control group that are not involved in creative play. Our survey with parents also shows that 91% of them are concerned with their kids' screen time, especially passive uh, screen time, while 84% of the parents are okay with their uh, kids using AI tools. So an AI-empowered educational app that facilitates creative play is much needed and desired on the market. Right, so who are our main customers? Uh, our initial market, our, our initial target market is 1 million children in the age group of 6 to 10 and in US and UK. And here's how we're gonna reach them uh, with our product. Uh, our year one is all about uh, developing our MVP. But by, but by year three, we want to have our app all polished up with the complete platform feature that we talked about. Our year four, we wanna make our app even cooler with uh, animated graphics and game features. Our big dream is to have a uh, full scale product by year five. Our go to market strategy starts uh, with launching various marketing projects uh, to have more users on board. But that's not all. Uh, we want to start partnering up with schools and other educational institutions in order for us to tap into uh, B2B and B2G market. By year three, uh, our market extends global. By year five, we want to establish uh, this global brand of best educational tool for boosting our creativity. Now let's talk some numbers. Uh, here are some key metrics that we want to keep an eye on. First um, is user acquisition number with the goal of um, acquiring 10K active new users in year one, by year one. Uh, we want to look at the user engagement numbers and we're going to look at the uh, skills development of our users. And here's what we really care for, uh, our user feedbacks and satisfaction numbers. Now that we've talked about the desirability and the feasibility of the topic, we're gonna look into the viability of it. So what's the market like? So we did an analysis uh, on the graph of adaptive learning and active engagement. A lot of apps in the market over there, but my story stands uniquely to provide adaptive learning and active engagement to the kids. Our price is only going to be $2.99 per month, which is way lower than any of the any of the app out there in the market. Some of the ways we are actually reducing the cost is by using edge computing on the LLMs, using organic marketing. Uh, one of the things that we really need to be careful about is the data policies of each market. We want to comply to that everywhere. Our user acquisition goes from 10,000 in year one to 1 million in year four and we go profitable from year two onwards. We plan to support this by raising funds of one million in year one, but we do have a contingency plan if that doesn't work out. Uh, we expand the market by expanding into other, other age groups, other markets, and B2B, B2G, and we want to create a brand that parents and kids talk about. Thank you so much. 
we are open for questions now. Thank you.